On this morning, there's new concern over another possible side effect of antibiotics, obesity among those making that case. Dr. Martin Blazer, he's director of the Human Microbiome Program at the New York University School of Medicine. He's also the author of an upcoming book, Missing Microbes, How the Overuse of Antibiotics is Fueling Our Modern Plagues. Good morning, doctor. Good to be here. So make us fat? Yes, you know, farmers have been giving antibiotics to their farm animals for almost 70 years with the idea of promoting their growth, uh, converting food calories into body mass. So did you look at the farm animal, animals and think if it's happening to them, maybe it's happening to us? Is that how this came yeah, about for that's, you? That, that was the light bulb that went off. Uh, if it works for the farm animals, which are mammals like us, maybe it is working for our kids. Same mm -hmm. principle. Okay, but Americans' diets have also gotten richer yes. over the years. That may be why we're getting fat. So you did a controlled study where you, though you found the results were dramatic. Explain. Well, we, we do most of our work in mice, mm -hmm. and uh, we either give mice antibiotics in their water or not. We showed that those mice with the antibiotics, that was the only variable, they got fatter. Uh, it develops gradually. It involves their liver and other metabolic organs. In fact, you found that antibiotics were the switch, and it was most dramatic in the female mice, right? Yeah, we found in female mice that if we put them on a high-fat diet, they got fat. If we put them on antibiotics, they got fat. If we put them on both together, they got very fat. Okay, the next, this is fascinating <laughs> yeah. to me, which is I'm so glad you're here. Why is it doing that? Why do antibiotics work that way? And are you sure that if it's in mice, it's also happening in humans? Well, we're also doing epidemiologic studies uh, in people, in a cohort of children in Britain. We've shown that early life use of antibiotics was associated with a higher weight, more mm. uh, adiposity or uh, uh, fattiness at age 7 and age 15. Mm. So we, we, and there have now been some other studies showing the same yeah. effect. This is part of a growing concern, in fact, that antibiotics have cost. Yeah, antibiotics have been given a free ride for 70 mm. years because they are so miraculous. Uh, when they do so you much take, good. W so much good when you deal with very sick people, there's nothing like antibiotics. Mm. But we're giving antibiotics to millions, mm. to hundreds of millions and of people. And is there an alternative for what antibiotics do? Well, the pediatricians, most of the family practitioners, they recognize that we're overusing antibiotics. Perhaps 60 to 80 percent of all the courses are unnecessary. So that's a very good place to start. Is that a problem with medical education? Medical education, professional education, and also parents feel deprived if their kids aren't getting antibiotics. So what should we do? First thing is to stop uh, using so much antibiotics. Education of the profession, education of the purpose. That's why, in part, why I wrote this book. What about the antibiotics in animal feed? Is the antibiotics that are going into making uh, animals bigger to sell, yeah. is that affecting us humans? Yeah, na well, I don't know whether it's affecting us. I can tell you that national surveys have been done showing trace levels of antibiotics in meats, in milk, uh, and in, in some cities in their drinking water. But we have no consequence, no idea what the consequences of this are if for the millions of people who are exposed every day. Thank All you. right, Dr. Martin Blazer, we thank, thank you. you.